I started climbing when I was two. My parents brought me to the climbing gym and they have photos of me in diapers climbing. But it wasn't until I was 11 that I started lead climbing. And so I consider that it, it, to be the time when I re truly started. I started leading, so. It's kind of a way of life, definitely. Um, when you're climbing, you're constantly dealing with challenges. Every route is different, so you're constantly overcoming, you're constantly fighting to get to the top or to climb the route. And the whole time you're battling yourself, so it's very rewarding. You're battling fatigue, you're battling doubt, you're battling stress, you're battling the rock. Can you do it? Do you have enough training? Are you strong enough? Uh, there's all these factors that come together when you're climbing and to overcome that is one of the greatest feelings that you can achieve. It takes you to some of the most amazing places in the world that most people will never see or never go to. About a year or two ago I went to Germany and Austria and I climbed in the Alps, in Frankenjura, and in Austria, in St. Gilgen, on limestone. And now I'm here in Mexico, and I'm climbing back on limestone. Um, this limestone's a lot cooler, I think, because the stalactites form some of the, uh, some of the most incredible climbing. Just three-dimensional, you're constantly hugging features, moving across them, gripping, pinching. Um, so it's a lot more fun. There's a lot more movement. We are here at the base of El Mexicano Paradido. Um, it's graded 514B, which is one of the harder routes in Mexico. It was put up a few years ago and the Petzl Rock trip came and quite a few athletes tried it. And so since then it's only seen maybe a handful of ascents. The line follows the steep horizontal hanging arete. The route is really bouldery. It's very techy too. You're kind of um, on small crimps with your left hand and pinching and your right hand's on slopey pinches and you go for seven to eight bolts of kind of 513 climbing and you hit the first crux which is a V9 or a hard boulder problem and at the very end of that crux there's this huge throw and you hit a jug and you get a relax you get a quick shake and you get a quick rest and then you get mentally prepared and then it's a sustained V8 boulder problem to the top um, you're, with your left hand you're climbing on a thin seam and your right hand you're kind of just slapping up the right side of the arete and it finishes on a tricky 12 plus mantle to a thin slab so it has a little variety of everything.
You climb for yourself because you achieve it and it's for yourself. Yeah, it's mental, physical, and emotional. It's frustrating falling on the same move when you can hang there for two seconds and then just do it. Like, why am I falling? I can do the move, I can do everything. You grab the hold and you can feel the pain, the little crimp cutting into your finger. Where you can feel the doubt, like, oh, I might not be able to make it. If I keep falling on one hold or one move, it kind of gets in your mind, like, oh, I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall. So you have to find some way to, like, beat it, you just fight through it. And then once you do, it's, the adrenaline kicks in and it's amazing. All right, take in our lower. Takes a lot too. You have to want it. You have to really want it for yourself and no one else. It has to be truly for yourself if you want to do it. <laughs> 